In fast dude to fast food news. What? Wait, what? Fast dude to fast food. Oh, got it. Submitted by Dr. Do Me a Little. <laughs> I got it. I get it. I've seen that movie. Doctor Do Me a Little. <laughs> That's a funny yeah, name. Never submitted that. You made us laugh. That's a good one. Yeah. It's pretty. Uh, That's like the first one too. Yeah, it's pretty mm -hmm. rare. Do yeah. me a little. Usain Bolt plans to spend his retirement building a restaurant empire around the world. Ooh, I wonder what kind of food. He's retiring. He's gonna. He's, he's too old. How old is he now? I saw. I think the next uh, Usain Bolt already is this uh, Japanese Olympian kid. Well, he's oh, he's black. Shit. Oh. <laughs> Damn. So you got the black jeans. Yeah, he's mixed. And the Japanese oh, fucking shit. winning everything. He looks like Tiger Woods. So I think I saw this video. He beat Usain Bolt in a run. I don't know if it was him. There's this kid that he's like 17 and he's he's I think he's already like stats wise I don't know if he raced him, oh, but shit. he won. I saw a video recently of some kid that or some guy that ran and beat Usain Bolt And like when Usain came to congratulate him he like he pretty much like bowed to him like I can't imagine beating one of the fastest men in the world, dude. That's amazing. And he grew up he grew up worshiping this guy too. Yeah. That's Dang. amazing. Those those races though, they their speed is on purpose. So like, you know it's Olympics every four years? In between those there's world games every year. Mm -hmm. But because those ones aren't really important, there are people that beat Yos uh, Usain Bolt during those, like his teammate Johan Blake mm -hmm. beats him all the time. He but, it's be but it's because it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. for those, they purposely, it's almost like, a, a, imagine like, uh, if I'm a power lifter, right? That one time a year where me bench pressing really matters a lot, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna try to fry myself oh on my. all the other races. <laughs> on the one that really matters, that's the one that I murder everyone. Mm -hmm. So Usain Bolt, he really, uh, mm -hmm. since he has nothing to prove, he peaks himself at the Olympics. Oh. So a lot at the other races, he's not even beating his record times. Yes. Oh. That's how genetically badass fucking black people are, man. Even in Japan, like we were all like, what a Japanese guy? And you're like, oh, he's half black. Oh! <laughs> it explains everything. With those super crazy fast jeans and like black the pride universe. of Japanese people and doing everything great. Fucking nonstop. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. It's fucking amazing. Because Japanese people are fucking great at everything. Oh, yeah, what are you it was just funny about? when I thought of that because I saw this article um, where that guy <laughs> and you look like a young Tiger Woods. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're fucking superior, dude. That's I'm crazy. You. I wonder if someone would one day like break Usain's records. Mm, probably as people grow more and more. Yeah. Because people, uh, one of the articles I was reading about Usain Bolt is uh, his speeds are so fast because he's a genetic anomaly like he's I think he's like six four whoa so usually people that tall. are that tall it takes a longer time for them to take off because they have their limbs are so long so the most sprinters are like 510 to 511 that's the best but the way his femur is built into his hips he can pump them like pistons mm -hmm. so he actually has the acceleration of a 510 511 guy but once the he range. hits top speed, his cruising speed is that of a 6'4 person. So when you see him race, he keeps up with everyone, but once it's about halfway through the race, he just keeps yeah. getting faster and faster. His faster. parents yeah. should sell their sperm and eggs to like, just like surrogates, be like, if you want to fuck an Olympian, here you go. They, they do that yeah, with- I'm imagine to make an Olympian. There's a, there's a horse. Get it, <laughs> fucker. Get it, fucker. There's a, there's a race horse right now that they let him breed. Come in a human? No, they let him. Whoa. Like trying to make a sense. Is that where the hell <laughs> your mind went? People you, are paying for sperm these days. You're fucking pervert. Come in a human. What does that have to do with parents pay? That's science. He's like this championship horse <laughs> and his owners let him breed three times a day with like female horses. He's gonna tire him and What if he doesn't want to? He probably has a but, sore horse dick. But, <laughs> but those female horses are brought in from people. They pay for a chance to mate that horse. It's a hundred thousand. Yeah, it's called like her female. It's called like stud service or something like that. So what do they do? Like spray perfume all over the female horse's ass? Even, no clue. But like they make so much fucking money just to let their horse like bang girl horses, and people pay so much money just to have that sperm just for a chance of a championship racing horse. Wow. So you guys asked how old Usain Bolt is? He's 31 years old. Yeah. I thought he'd be older. I didn't know he was young. That's probably old in sports. Yeah, maybe it's old for a sprinting. For because then the yeah. next time you'd have to be because it's every four years, right? Oh, so 35. This year, after the 2017 World Championships, he, he won some medals. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Because people start the Olympics very young. They do. Very, very young. Yeah. So then now that he's retired. He wants to, 
he wants his restaurant called Tracks and Records to be franchised oh. and to be spread across the world. What what kind of food yeah. is it? So it's Jamaican fast casual. Oh. So like jerk chicken. Mhm. Mm Runaway jerk chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so even the whole branding is like with you saying bolt in it. Tracks and records. There's that Korean Olympian that became like a uh, yeah. like the wrestler or something, and then he became like a comedian on TV, and then he started making those Korean uh, barbecue restaurants. I forgot the name because it's in Korean. That place is bomb. It's oh, the so one here in LA. So yeah, they got a bunch of locations. Ajashi she gupcha? Maybe it's that one. He looks like Sai. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah. I've been there. She's bomb, dude. So he was an Olympian. Yeah, he was like a wrestler. I guess she got Chang or something like that. And it's so good because, um, I don't know, it's like good quality because these people, you know, like they have good taste. Yeah, so. Same bowl, man. I want to bring that restaurant to the LA. I want to mm -hmm. try it. Yeah, so he opened his first location in Kingston, Jamaica. Sean Kingston. In 2011. Bumbleclad. But now he wants to franchise it and he wants to start it in the UK, opening it in London. So he's going to be starting that up. That's pretty cool. Speaking of Jamaica, I got high and I watched a two hour or three hour documentary mm -hmm. of Bob Marley on Netflix, not knowing that it was gonna be that fucking long. I just started playing the documentary and I'm all like, fuck dude, I think I'm really high because I'm not even done with this and it feels like I've been watching for a long time. And just is like, uh, I think we picked a really long documentary. And it was like two hours something. It was good. But, um, I really, really like like the whole Rasta religion and what they what they're about and like it's pretty cool. I mean, I hate religion, but I like that one. Why? Why do you like it? Because uh, they use weed as a way to be spiritual and shit, and anything that has to do with weed is pretty cool. But the other thing is like uh, they balance like fitness with connecting to you know God and all this stuff and it's kind of like a healthy all-around thing and then the emphasis is like love and um oh no are you gonna start growing out dreads bro yeah. no I don't I can't do that I can't I, I, that does that does not match me but cultural it's, appropriation okay uh, <laughs> not in this circle though right we don't give a fuck about that fuck. shit. Maybe Bay can have dreads if she wants yeah. shit or he wants. If I if I grew out my hair and didn't do anything, I wonder if it would dread. I, I want I wonder what would happen. Cause my hair grows up, so it might Marge Simpson. <laughs> instead of Sideshow Bob. You never had like hair down to your neck? Well I had a bowl cut when I was little. But I don't know. Oh, we all know we that bowl. Yeah, yeah, but if I did. wash my hair and let it just dry, it looks it just goes. It just goes up. Just let it grow. Let it grow. No, right, no, see. no. Let's see. All right, I'll do it. When really? it's when it's cold, I'll fucking let it grow. Well, I mean, it's starting to get colder now from here on out. It's not cold enough. Hmm. I want to look like an Asian homeless man. Oh, You're pretty fucking close. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, it's gonna be awesome. Cause we got September. Right? You said September. <laughs> September. 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 How do you say November, Joe? Oh, yeah. November. Ah, yeah. Sure. Better, right? What do you say? November. November. November? Yeah. He'll say November. November. Yeah. You can't make fun of September. November. September. November. November. Where November, November is where. <laughs> November is my favorite because there's Halloween. November. Josh, stupid. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> November thirty first. <31st. laughs> Awesome. So we played a JK oh, game, so and uh, you guys have to watch this video. It's not out yet. It's on party. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be on party, and you guys have to you guys have to see what Josh. Which did. video was it again? Halloween, Halloween smoothie challenge. I love yeah. when Josh plays games because he's so confident. He's always like when he panics and we have to play time games. He's so on it, <laughs> so confident. That he messes up. Awesome. <laughs> the greatest. And your guys' expression was hilarious. I thought that that answer was in the bag. Yeah, it's yeah. the. So I was like, I did too. It's a no brainer answer. <laughs> November 31st. He said it was such like, conviction. He was so yeah, proud. It was like 1131. Yeah, he was 10, so 31. fucking proud too. Uh, he was just like, I almost had a fucking stroke, dude. Like, that was dude. just. I almost gave labor. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, show us what it's only real. Like, oh, what the <laughs> fuck, John? Have you guys ever had jerk chicken? Yes. yes. I've uh, never I had jerk chicken. What does it taste uh, like? I don't know, think you have. Jerk. Casey tried to make it. Did you have it? Oh yeah, uh, he loves I making it. 
Uh, I think, I'm, I'm not sure if I was with Joe or someone else, but we were in like NorCal or the Bay Area and we stopped by a jerk chicken place. I want to try jerk chicken. Wow. Wait a you were with us, but it wasn't that good. Oh. There was another place that was really good. Oh. I thought we did everything together. <laughs> jerk chicken is bomb. Wait, didn't we get it in Hawaii with the, with the Rasta man that had a restaurant and it took him like three hours to oh, cook? Oh, we did. Yeah. It took him forever. I was, like, was I there? Yeah, you were there. It was with Casey's parents uh, when we went with Casey's parents. Yeah, we were like, when yeah, the fuck oh, is the food okay, gonna come out? I, I was like, damn, dude, this is the longest. They really oh, take the time. Oh, you know, there's one in, uh, I think it's Pasadena. But they're like never open. They are never what? open. We went there like three times. One time, God Casey damn. and I finally saw them open, and they had just opened for the night, and yeah. they were setting it up, and it, it used to be a church. And they redid it. Oh, oh, that place is haunted. Thank was you for good? letting me know. Not going haunted in there. Meats. Was it good? It was forgettable. Oh, so, I don't remember. We tried to go there like three times before. Son of a bitch. But I, I love jerk chicken. Jerk. But, but what does it chicken. taste like, though? It's very uh, herby. Oh. Oh, it it tastes Indian without the Indian. So it's not. Oh. Look, I'm I'm ex I'm imagining jerky, like dried hard meat. No, no. it's juicy. It's like a. Oh, it's kind of like it's like kind of it's like braised. It's kind of oh, like okay. Yeah. okay. It's kind of like adobo, but not adobo. Okay, because I'm thinking jerk yeah, chicken. It's Indian, 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 but not Indian. Not Indian. Any no. Jamaican fans know any good Jamaican restaurants in the LA area? Please leave in the comments below where we should go because I want some legit Jamaican food. In oh, junior high, same boat, just but, open one here. But leave the comment in patois because I want Joe to have trouble reading it. No, I could read it, Bamba Clap. <laughs> Bomb class. In junior high, I had a Jamaican friend named Ordy. I don't know where he Ordy. went. I want to find him. I have a friend who's half Jamaican, half Chinese. Oh, really? And his name is Warren Michael Shimqui. <laughs> it's a very interesting name. You know what? I heard there's a lot of Chinese in Jamaica. His mom looks there's like the most tiniest. Ever. His mom looks like the most tiniest Chinese lady ever, but when she starts speaking, it's on full on Jamaican accent. It's funny oh. as shit. What up all my positive people? I want to hear your thoughts. Put it in the comments below because if you're negative, shut the hell up and go drink some Raid, please. But if you're very positive, leave it in the comments below. For the last video, go over here. Dun, 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 dun.